Welcome back guys. In this video we are going to learn how to find the broken link in Selenium. So need to find the broken link from the web page. So let's do it. Before that we should know what is broken link. So broken link is also called dead link. Right? So the broken link doesn't work or you can say doesn't redirect to the particular web page. So this usually occurs whenever website or a particular web page is down or you know doesn't exist. When someone click on a broken link, so error message is going to display. Error message means status code. It could be 400 or it could be 404 or it could be 500, right? For example, if I go to the Google page, here I have given a valid URL. So now this is navigate to the particular page. So this is working fine. If I try to, you know, land admin page over here, so we are not sure, you know, whether there is admin page or not. So if I click on error, enter right, it is throwing a error 404 error, right? So the requested URL was not found on the server. Page not found error, right? This is a 404 error over here. So we have a different status code available. This is the status code. So we have seen now 404 page not found error, right? So the status code we have 400 is there, 500 is there, 200 is there. 200 means success code. Success code means we can say if it is uh, giving a valid URL, this will be status code will be 200. So the request sent by the browser is successfully completed and the expected response is sent to the browser by the server. So this is 200 status. So now in this page, we have a n number of links is there. So without clicking that we should know whether it is uh, navigate to the particular page or not or whether it is a broken link or not. That's what we are going to check now. So we have to write a script over here, right, without clicking that, right. So for that, what we need to do, we need to get the link from the page, right. So how many links are there, we need to get all the links. Then with that link, we need to get a URL, right. Then we need to get a status code for the particular URL. Then and validate whether the broken links are not, right. So now we'll start write the script over here. So here I'm just launching the browser. Now we need to navigate to the Right. So for the driver dot get, we'll pass a URL. I'll go with uh, this URL over here. I'll be copy this URL. So now first step will be we need to uh, get the total uh, link from the page, right? So for that we can we can use a tag name, right? Using tag name we can get all the link from the web page. So I can say driver dot find elements. So find elements means it is going to return a list of web elements by dot tag name. Simply I can say here. So now this is going to return a list of web elements. So we can store it in a list of web element over here. List of web element. I can say link equal to this is the variable I have given. So now I just wanted to uh, import the package. We'll import the package. So now we have get all the links and store it in a this variable. So now we need to get a total number of link. How many links are there in the page? So I'll be printing. I have seen I'll be total links or I'll be concoordinating links dot size. Right. So this method is going to return a size method is going to return a total size for the link. Right. So now we are getting the link as well. So now using a for loop will get, you know, uh, will loop will going to iterate till the link size, right? And it is going to get all the link URL as well. So we can start for loop, for loop i equal to 0, i less than, i less than link dot size. Right now i plus plus till the count, right? So it is going to return a total link count. So till the time the loop has to I trade. So now I can say links dot will get I index we need to pass one by one. So I'll be store this with the one of the variable. So I can say web element element equal to I'll be passing this. Right. So now we are getting that you know link. So with that link what we need to get we need to get an attribute. Suppose if I uh, click on any link. See now this is the href is the attribute. So we can use the get attribute method 
get attributes of href means it is going to return a url of the particular link right so now we'll pass the uh, href attribute so now we can say simply element right element is a this variable so we element dot get attribute we need to pass href so it is going to return a url right so we can store get attribute always going to return a string so i can say string url equal to element dot get attribute of href we are passing href so href value will be url over there so now we are passing a href over here so now we are getting a url so with that url what we need to do we need to validate right so we have a url class is there so we need to uh, create an object for the url class so url i say link equal to new url so here we need to pass this url right so now i'll be import this so now we need to add a rows declaration right so now this is the way we need to you know create an object of the url class so now we need to create a connection using this url object right so we have to create a connection so for that uh, we have a http url connection we can give a name http connection equal to we'll pass this one here i can say link right dot open connection so this is the way we need to give http url connections will be we need to import the package so now we have done a connection now we'll add a time uh, you know timeout for uh, we, we will just set the timeout i'll be import this add through declaration so now what we need to do we need to add some uh, you know timeout over here so for that we can say this variable right so http connection dot we can say set connections timeout so we can pass you know maybe i can say 2 seconds to 2000 means it will be 2 seconds right then we have to connect using connect method so we need to connect we have a connect method is there so see we have a connect method now we are connecting so we are connecting everything over here so now what we need to do we need to get the response code right so we have a response get response code method is there so using get response code We'll be getting a response code so that we have seen, right? 200 is there, 404 is there, 400 is there. So using that, we'll be get the response code. Then we need to validate. So for that, we can say, we'll, we need to validate, right? So we have using the if condition. If condition, HTTP connection dot get response. We have a method get response code is there. So get response code. So we can say uh, equal to equal to 200, right? If it is a 200, then it will be, uh, message will be going to OK, right? This is a successfully, if it is a response is coming, then we have a 200. Otherwise, we can add uh, greater than equal to 400. Greater than equal to 400 means whatever, you know, more than uh, 400, right? Then it is going to throw the, I mean, it is a invalid, it is a broken link. So simply I can say we can add a multiple if condition using 200 or 400 or 404, right? So those things as well, but simply we can add a, it is greater than equal to 400, then we can say we'll say uh, we can add URL. So this is going to return a URL and we can say this is an invalid. Uh, we can say broken link. Right, this is a broken link. So it is going to return URL is a broken link. Else we can say then it is going to print URL plus uh, will give us some message. We can uh, we'll be getting a message. Me message response message is a this is a response code so it's going to return 200 or 400 
So as per the error, it is going to return. But we have another method called get response message. So get response message means it is going to return. If it is a 200 means it is going to return OK. If it is a 400 means it is going to return page not found. 404 we have seen page not found, right? So those message is going to return. So now I am trying to add a message. I can say HTTP connection dot get response message. So now this message is going to return. So now it is going to print URL as well. And it is going to print the message. If it is a 200, it is going to print OK. Or if it is any error, it is going to print different one. So here, 400. Right. So now this will going to work. So now I will uh, run this. We'll see how this is working. Then we'll add a try catch as well. Suppose I'll run this now. It is printing all the URLs and the status code. Right, so the C2 OK means 200, right? So 200 means this is the messages. Get response message is the uh, we have seen. Get response message, right? So this is a valid URL. So that's the reason we are getting a OK message. Right. So suppose if it is an invalid URL is there. So this is a stable website, right? So Google, we are not getting any uh, invalid message, invalid URL over there, invalid link over there. So better I can see another uh, website, maybe Orange HRM. So I'll, I'll get the link from here in this website. So now we'll see how this is going to work. So now instead of links dot size, I'll be go with uh, 20, right? Because we are not sure. This is a website. We are having a uh, more links, right? So it will go and uh, print all the links. So instead of that, I just wanted to print only. I just want to validate only 20 links, right? So now we'll run this. We'll see how this is going to work. So now it's page is loading now. So while adding a page also we can give uh, some time seconds to load. So what happened? Okay, here 155 uh, links are there, but the first link itself it is a exception throwing. So that's the reason it is coming out of the loop. So now what we need to do? We need to add a try catch over here. So if it is a try catch means so what happen if I add a try catch, if it is any exception, it will go to the catch block and it is going to throw the exception, right? So instead of uh, coming out of the loop, right? So now what I can do, simply I'll be adding a try catch over here. So now I'm adding a try. Here I can add a catch block. So catch block I can uh, pass. exception so exceptions e i will be saying that e dot print that type. so it is going to return a you know what is the exception it will going to return so now if i run this it is going to run you know 20 links right? so we have given 20 links right it is going to run till the 20 line so now i'll run this now we'll see So whenever if the exception is there, it is coming out of the execution, right? So that's the reason we are adding a try catch. So try catch means it will not going to come out of the execution. It will going to come continue the execution till if it is a exception is there or not. Right? If it is exception is there, it is going to the catch block. So now we have asked 20 links, right? So we'll see how this is going to work. Uh, 
Okay, so now the execution stopped. See here, we are getting a some of the links are uh, find, you know, um, it's a malformed URL exception and some of the links is working fine as well. So this is the way we need to identify the broken links in our page. So without clicking that we'll be getting. So here I have given only 20. Maybe if you want to validate all the links from your page, you can go with link dot size because it is going to return, you know, all the links, you know, total uh, count of link in the page. So you can validate, you will get all the links and you can validate. So this is the way we need to pass. The same code you can, uh, you know, code you can copy over that. Simply you need to pass your website. So that's it, it is going to work. I hope this will going to help you. Thank you.